Yo, what up, what up, YouTube? Got another interesting game for you guys today against the Ravens. Playing against this guy right here, Charm City 52. He's kind of hilarious. It's people that are just like delusional in the way of thinking about the game. And you play the game, and the, their idea of what they think, or what it is they think I'm doing, compared to what it is they're doing on the field, it just makes this whole thing funny. So he gets the ball here first, and of course, you know he has a mobile quarterback that I gotta worry about for. So rob the game, I'm already putting my spy on because I know. Look at this. He snaps the ball. He's already rolling out the pocket, and he tells me earlier that the reason why he's rolling out is because he has a mobile quarterback, and that's what you're supposed to do. When a mobile quarterback is just roll out. I'm like, you call a play with only three wide receivers out. Two of them running streaks and one a streak up the middle. Nobody's open. It's like, what was your whole intent of running that play to begin with? And as you can see, I'm just giving them basic plays. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play quarters because I need my guys to man all these guys crossing the field. Now that's luck right there because you got picked and taken the other way for throwing to double coverage for no reason. So here's the whole main gist of the whole thing. This is the end of the game. Uh... He told me that the game was lucky. I was like, I wouldn't call it luck. So that's the reason why I put that lucky right there. To show, like, the quote-unquote luck he was talking about. Like, I don't even know what he's doing. And then, for the majority of the game, he sat in cover three the whole entire game. I think I have a couple of times called man, but for the majority of the whole play calling, 90% of his play calls is cover three. So I just call cover three beating plays. Or, hey, missed the tackle. And I take it to the house. Because he wanted to do the hit stick. And that's all he did all game was hit stick, try to hit stick the hell out of me. So we take the first one to the house. He cover three. All right. He's back on offense again. Let's watch how he runs his offense. Snap, catch, and roll. Snap, catch, I'll take off. <laughs> you want to talk about one read quarterback? He snaps the ball, look for his first read. He's not there. He's out of the pocket. He's gone. So here it goes again. Because you know he's running all, all verts. Nothing see, nothing's taken away. Try to force this down the field. Of well, course, you know he doesn't. Have, Jackson doesn't have the best quarterback accuracy. Same thing again. Everything's taken away. Time to roll. Just to throw it this way. And this is a user pick. Give me those. Give me those. Thank you very much. I'll take that from you. Here's another play where he tells me that um, there was a blown coverage on here. It wasn't a blown coverage. He was the blown coverage. He's assignment on the next play coming up. He's playing man right here. And his linebacker in the middle is supposed to be manning my tight end. If he's in man, his responsibility is the tight end. <laughs> That's him. His responsibility is my tight end since he's playing man. He knows this because, I mean, the player says it, right? It's man. He leaves him all the way open because he's worried about the drag coming across. And I hit him and he says it's a blown coverage. I'm like, how is that a blown coverage? You can see the player right here. It's man. It's man defense. That's your that's your responsibility. So it's like, uh, my first drive was uh, blah blah was a coverage blown. I'm like, how is that a coverage blown? That's why I showed that play right there. It's man defense. And he says I caught him because he was trying to select his line. No, you selected the right linebacker. You just didn't follow the tight end. All right, see, totally man, delusional. I don't know what game he's playing. See, this is the reason why I was playing quarters because of all this routes that he run. So, all right, that's a call timeout because apparently he hasn't learned his lesson yet. So, I'm going back to. And here's where he's talking about his quarterback. That that's what you do when you have a mobile quarterback. You run. He said, I was trying to avoid sacks. Like, did you see any time? I didn't send any blitz the entire game. I said no blitz. It was three man rush and then the quarterback spy. That's it. So, why are you taking off? <laughs> why are you running out of pocket? You know, and you know, I, like I said, man, it's like they have. These are the same people that will complain about how the game sucks. And you watch how they play. Look at this. There is no. Why are you running? There is no quarterback rush. Like, why are you taking off? <laughs> you taking off? Like, I'm, I'm only, I'm technically rushing three with a quarterback spy. That's it. So if you, if you don't leave the pocket, that spy is not gonna do anything to you. He's just gonna stand there until you run out of pocket. The easiest defense you can play here. This is easy as it gets on defense. But he's telling me I should be picked that I was in quarters. Most of, yeah, I was in quarters because of the raw combination, raw concepts you're running. I'm like, yeah, you can have that all day. It's fine. I'm just, next time I'll just come in and put a flat on and they'll take that away. And I'll force you to throw your new verticals off field, which is the same plays. Right? So I'm telling you, I'm playing this defense because of what he's calling defense. So I put the hard flats in to take the running back away. And that's it. 
And then we try to take all these drags and everything that he could run across the field. And he doesn't understand why I'm playing the defense I'm playing because you keep doing stuff like that. And then you keep running out of pocket every time he snaps the ball. Like he's running out of pocket with no, absolutely no rush. Like you're still gonna take off, oh, good play, good play. You should do more stuff like that. If you sat in the pocket and watch my defense, it's the easiest defense ever. If you beat it. Like you gotta force me to come out of this, and it seems like this is working because he wants to throw those deep developing routes off field. Like I was telling you, everybody does. That's what everybody does. Like why you, you like you ran into a quarterback sack? Like why get out of pocket? Stay in the pocket. Just stay in there. Don't move. You know, this is uh, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, nickel over G right here. So he was able to run the screen right here, missed the tackle. Ah, right, no problem. He got in the end zone for missed tackle. At least I know it was something that was preventable if I just made the tackle, right? Hey, I'm not gonna complain, but I'm not gonna you know sit here and freaking. I mean, you have to know what you're doing. And he says my offense was conservative. I'm like, how is it conservative and you can't stop it sitting in cover three all game? He's in cover three right now. And he's going to be surprised when this guy comes open. Like, you got you to gotta get out of his cover three. The whole entire game. You told me what your defense was the whole entire game by not switching up. You didn't vary it at all. I mean, after a while, like I said, he went to man. The second, the third quarter, he went to man. But right now, he's, he's, just, in, he's just in cover three. The whole game. Cover three. See? He plays different formations, but he's still cover three. So this right here, this is the epitome of luck. He says he was a user pick. <laughs> Look at this. He says that's a user pick. <laughs> ah, this guy's freaking hilarious. Look at this, man. I told him that you couldn't stop me again. And he's like, yeah, it's like, I did stop you. I got a user pick. I like, yeah, off that bounce off pick. Yeah, that's a user pick, he calls it. All right, all right man, whatever. Like I said, man, people are just delusional. Yeah, greatness is crazy. If he had stayed in the pocket, you saw that guy run across the middle of the field on the left side, <laughs> wide open. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like, don't fear the rush, man. Leave the rush alone. You'll be all right. If you sat in the pocket and looked outfield, I'm telling you, there's wide open receivers everywhere. But I don't know why he was so scared of the uh, the blitz. I really, really didn't blitz that much. I'm blitzing here, but I really didn't blitz much of the game. I really didn't blitz. I just sat in quarters and had a spy on the field. That's it. So let's see if I go back to it here. But yeah, I'm just okay, still man blitzing still. There he goes, taking off again. Uh, and this is his game plan, man. Hey, now you watching this and you tell me where you see any type of threat right here. Honestly. And I told him, I was like, if it wasn't for your quarterback, the, it, this game would be worse than what it really is. If it wasn't for your quarterback. But I don't think he understands what I mean when I tell him that. Because that's his own entire offense was the quarterback. I had to account for him on every down. In terms of, like, a bit of spy. Because if it was anybody else, I could just send my four-man rush and call the day. But I had to account for him. Every, see, every down, I had to account for him. And like I said, if it wasn't for him, that's, a, that's another... Fourth and four, right there. He just converted from to a, uh, a first down, so you can thank his luck, his lucky stars. The quarterback saved him, but you know, according to him, you know that's what mortal quarterbacks do. But you saw what he was doing earlier, right? You snap the ball, three. Look at his first read; it's not there, and just take a run. If I have to show this stuff so you guys can like you know see it because it's just funny when people make the arguments. I'm just like, dude, what are you talking about? You know, and then you talking about he wants a rematch. I'm like, how? Am I? I'm not getting no rematch. Like, if he matches up again, then they just matches. Look, see, I took the this screen off because that's how he scored his first touchdown. Like, they matches up again, and I will play again. But I'm not giving you a rematch because like I'm not about to deal with this all game. Just snap the ball and run around. And in his mind, he thinks he just messed up. Like, and I got lucky. Like, how I get lucky? He saw blown coverages. You see how he's throwing the ball. And here's the third quarter. It begins the third quarter. See, this way it starts going to man. Well, not right now. It's still in cover three. But it's going to start going to man shortly. And he says, my, my offense was conservative. So I should be throwing 50-yard bombs down the field to people that's not supposed to be open like you do. That's, that's how you play. Uh, 
I would take the bomb if it's there. But I knew, like I said, everybody's going to take the R1 away. So I, I'm just going to use that to my advantage and do the routes to where your user vacates. Because I know he's in cover three. Watch X get open right here. See this? Because I know that guy's going to chip down to take away the flats. Like that's what he always does. And then he just leaves that gaping hole right there in the middle of uh, cover three. And I wouldn't know that if he didn't play cover three all game. You get what I mean? Like, how am I supposed to know that if you're not, if you're not stuck in cover three? Like, hey, if you're not stuck in cover three the whole game, how would I know where the gaps are in your defense? Like this right here. Like, how would I know that if you weren't stuck in cover three all game? And I don't think he understands. I told him to watch the video. I was like, I'll explain why it's bad for him. Like, he, but I don't think he sees all this. He just thinks he's doing something right. All different types of cover three. None of them is working. You figure you change up. Nope. Cover three to the death. And of course, you know, the other defense you call down here is cover two invert. Like, that's the end all be all of defense. I know you only hardly ever see me play cover two invert down here because it's vulnerable to a lot of different things. But some people swear by it, so. I'm just going to come out here in my three wide receiver. And the user better be great at usering. Because the back of the end zone is just wide open on this. Like he better, but I'm going to use the slant with my tight end to hold the user in place. Because I need O to run his route in the back. Look at that. Look at the back of the end zone. Both receivers are wide open in the back of the end zone. Wow. Yeah, this is where it says my, he was talking about my offense and my defense, that I played cover four, and then I played conservative on offense. Like, I don't see anything conservative there. I see aggressiveness, that's what I see, and I see time management. I just spent the whole third quarter coming up here to score. Like, you got to worry about the time management too, my friend. You think I'm going to sit here for another four quarters and watch you run around with your quarterback like an idiot? Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is only two guys rushing. <laughs> oh, man. You see the raw concepts he keeps running? Jeez. The door of the field. Yeah. And that's the reason why I play quarters because of stuff like that. Because you can't play cover three and expect that guy to be able to bail on me. Unless I bring him all the way down, my safety, I bring him all the way down to the box. That's the only way he's going to actually cover that. Like the way he's supposed to. Like the wall went. See, I brought him in this time. Like the way he needs to. So now it's covered. Because I had to bring him down there. Look at this right here. Yeah, I'm not even going to get mad. It's whatever. It's whatever. Uh, that's a lucky touchdown. To say the least. I had over the top on that on his running on his wide receiver and I still didn't catch the ball. I hear his way starts going to man because he got tired of getting beat on that cover two, but it still doesn't matter. He's just still beat comeback still beat man. If you don't have under underneath help. That's still gonna kill man. Remember Man, man, you got the running back. User, you got the running back. User, you got the running back. See, that's not luck, man. Because if he moves out the middle, you, you already know what's coming behind him. Robinson's coming right behind him. So, you know, this is be another completed pass, but do it away. That's all good. Come back on another play. It's nice, nice fooling, man. Now, watch what I do with, uh, with Burton up the middle, because you know the user's going to take him away, right? He's, he's in man. So White's going to beat him over on the left. See that? Yeah, that? That's what he calls conservative. 12 or 14 passing, 194 yards, three touchdowns, one INT. <laughs> one user pick, as he calls it. <laughs> that's conservative. Like, dude, man, come on. Come on. Like, you really think he was stopping somebody? Like, who are you stopping? Seriously. I'm telling you, man, if it wasn't for the quarterback, man, it'd be worse. It'd be 35 to maybe zero. But the quarterback kept him in the game. Here's another completion right here because he's playing cover three again. So here's another easy completion right here. For another first down. I've only incompleted two passes all game. This is the fourth quarter. Only two incompletions. Because I can tell you, he already gave me what he's playing. I already know what he's, what he's in. And this other play is a touchdown, but you know, he catches the ball in the back in the end zone. I'm just going to run it right here. Trying to get him to burn that last time out. That's what he calls it. Yep. 
Run that last time out. This is a touchdown again. He's still in that cover to invert. Same play I hit him with last time. And he's still playing in the same way. And look at the back of the end zone. Again, he just didn't bring it in. So I'm just going to take the field goal. Like I said, it would be worse than what it is if it wasn't for his quarterback. That's the entire game. His quarterback's basically saving him. Because he can basically just run away, you know, every every particular, like this. He can just run away every play. I'll do his incomplete pass here. So I'm going to take away the this tight end over here. And then, like, there's nobody going to let anybody open. Force it on top. Incomplete pass. Of course, you know, he's come back to do it again. We double team him this time. He's going to throw it to double coverage. Give me those. Give me those. Give me those user pick. Give me that user pick. <laughs> Give me that user pick. All right, man. That's it, man. That's the end of the game, man. Now, you tell me what you see in this offense that scares you. Seriously. It's not, for the, it's not for his running quarterback. I don't see how he even scores 16 points. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Until the next game. I'll holler at you dudes later. All right, then. What? Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier.